Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return worth having. I often said this at the beginning of Magic and Mayhem podcast, but what I realized was my podcast was not really a success in a way that I could never get to the magic of God. It was always about the magnificent amazingness of the selfishness of someone else trying to harm my life. That had to be pretty boring for people to listen to, I suppose, but the truth is it's all factual, it's all truthful, it's all 100% what I'm telling you, the reality of the reporting and recording of my life in and through different aspects of homelessness and the way that people, and particularly police officers, who are, should be fully defunded and we should be replacing with National Guard and military people and personnel who are still good quality people and still living in America and still doing their thing to take care of us instead of them. Military police can do as much as a police officer can be can do, and even more. But we need to have people who really know the law, truly the law of America, and the law of our treaties around the world. Now, in life, we have to do things that are making us unhappy sometimes, and miserable sometimes, other times, but you don't have the right to make other people miserable. You don't have the right to stalk someone, harass someone, steal from their vehicles, interact with people they're trying to have relationships with, interface your ideas about their life with those people, or just totally outright go out and call all these people and tell them something that's an outright lie because you want it to happen for them. Not going to happen for you. You see, when you take that time, it means you become a slave to that person's life. Who asked you to do that? Go live your own life is what I've told many people from the shelter who are going to monkey with me and beat me up and do all this shit because somebody lied to them completely about me and, well, about them and their rights. You see, I'm really big about human rights today. Hugely, actually, about it. I rage about human rights because my human rights have been violated a million times by total strangers, people I don't even know, people who want to monkey with me, want to play with me, want to insult me, or just some silly college boys who want to yell down from a balcony, hey, you want a beer? No, I want a can of chicken. Thank you. But then they never throw the can of chicken down. I just can't quite get grasp why they don't get it. But the truth is, they could also throw me a can of tea, but I'd be okay with that. But I don't want a can of beer. No offense to the beer makers of the world, especially in Amherst Post and those marvelous horses they've got. But my point is, I'm sure there are people out there who like that, but I don't. And I'm really looking for protein. But I'm getting off topic. The point is that people's rights belong to them individually. They do not belong to some monstrous, total stranger who wants to monkey around and stare at somebody and monstrously stalk them and interfere with them and mob them with all these people trying to teach them a lesson. Who gave you the friggin' right to say, I'm going to teach that man or that woman a lesson? Nobody. God did not say and put on you on this earth to go teach people lessons. Now, we do have professional trainers like me. We do have marvelous teachers around the world like some of my late siblings, but we don't have to be the guy or the girl who says, I'm going to teach that person a lesson because he just monkeys my mind with his life. Tough shit. Go do your own life. You're probably not someone who's actually been in that person's life on any regularity of actually impacting them to uplift them in any way in life, or you probably don't know them at all, which means you're a monster in everything you're thinking in your mind. It means you've lied to yourself about your own human rights, you've lied to yourself about your rights to other people, and you pretty much lied to yourself. God did not place you as a gift from God to harm people. Now, I have gifts from God for sure, but you might get some too if you'd stop monkeying in other people's lives and started listening well to the Lord. Now, I'm going to wrap this up fairly quickly because I want you to understand that God can give you everything you need in life, from a man or a woman of your dreams to that child you've been longing to have and you've been struggling to get, or those marvelous little puppies or cats or whatever the heck that you're into in terms of pets, but openly God can also provide for you food, money, income, jobs, and opportunities. But usually it comes about from your prayer. And your prayer has to be there almost on a regular basis. I remember I prayed almost three years for one person to really get me. And she finally started to. And then other people in her life started to monkey the whole thing up from God. And she came into my life on a prayer from God. And so did someone else. But the truth is other people outside of the relationships between you and God can monkey what God has for you. And you need to stop doing that. If you're one of those monkeyers, stop. Focus on your own life. You are not in charge of a total stranger's life. You are not in charge of the people who around that person's life. You cannot even pretend to believe people who lie about people's lives. It's out of control. Get focused on your own life. Put your knees to the floor. Put your face to the floor. And pray the Lord Most High for your life. Thanks for listening.